Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we've got a MacBook Air with no image. Let's open this thing up and see if we can figure out why it has no image and make it work again. So here we have the MacBook Air. First thing we're going to do is turn this thing on and see what happens. All right, turn it on. All right, I see nothing. I heard a chime. Now, this, this is interesting. It's not that there's no backlight. That's no image. That's a strange one. So let's see. Does it see the screen? Is it sending three volts to the screen? The screen is getting three volts, so there should be a picture. But I have seen no picture. All right, what do we have for backlight? Seven. Let's get the board out of this and try and figure out what's going on and see if we can make it work again. Nothing that corroded. Nothing corroded. Hmm. Strangeness. I see spooging thermal paste all over around the CPU area. Remember, the more thermal paste, the better. The more you have shooting out every nook and cranny of your computer to the point that it's drowning, the better. My microscope light is really starting to give me a seizure. The LED driver looks pretty. Let's try some things with a test screen. Let's see, is backlight enabled present? Turn on, you piece of shit. Three volts, 2.8 volts. So we have 2.8 volts on backlight enabled, but still no backlight. And we're stuck at eight volts, which means we're not boosting. Backlight voltage appears to be, yeah, 8 volts. I'm going to go with LED driver randomly decided to shit itself. Luckily, since Apple had not yet engaged full cunt mode when this MacBook was out, they were still in partial cunt mode. They used an LED driver that was that you can actually buy in places like Mouser and DigiKey. Or of course, store.rossmangroup.com. RTX voice. No, fuck that. I get asked, that's one of the, ugh. So every, this is one of these annoying things where when something comes out, everyone that sends me a link to it thinks they're the first person to send it. Like when that medical video from Reason TV came out, I'm still getting about 300 emails a day from people that think they're the first person to send it to me. 
to this RTX thing. I used to use Isotope RX7, which is 10 times better than any of that RTX voice shit, by far. And the problem is, you know, you remove the, vo the sounds of the fume extractor, but it also removes the sound of you a little bit. And the question then becomes, is it worth it? And I think not really. So I used to use that in older videos, but then I stopped just because it's, you know, there's artifacting. And again, like a lot of people said, I fall asleep to the noise of the fume extractor, which I don't understand that shit at all. I can't stand the noise of the fume extractor, but if people like it, it is what it is. But holy crap, I've been getting another like 15 emails a day from people going, hey, you said you had an RTX card. Have you heard of the... Yeah, yes, I have. I have. Sodomize someone else's inbox. No, it is not a dead SMC. You go to hell and you die. It is not a dead SMC. It is an LED driver. Let's get some more light. Oh yeah, look at that thing flicker. Look at that thing flicker. Listen to it flicker. Okay, let's get my test screen back on the desk. I have test screen. How about... Come on. Twenty six volts. Come on, show me that twenty six volts. That that's not twenty six volts. All right, screen has gotten there. Backlight fuse is eight volts on one side, eight volts on the other. Eight volts here, eight volts in here in the coil. What? Wait a second. Eight volts here on the coil. Eight volts here on the diode. What the hell is that? A bad diode? Never! Oh, you fucked with it! What the hell is that? Oh, that is not my soldering. I use more flux than that. What? That, what the f- Oh, you, you, you poor little board. Who did this to you? Who did this to you? Damn straight I use more flux than anyone and I'm proud of it. That's why my joints are so sexy.
Soldier. Now that's a sexily soldered diode. Now remember, this one turns on, off, on, off, on, off, on. Twenty five volts. That's a working screen. Well, actually, this is a broken screen. This is a tester screen that I use that is clearly broken. And it's not going to show you anything on the screen because it's dead. But the light is on, which you actually can't tell because crap, the lighting in my office is so strong you can't tell if that's illuminated or not. Okay, that's your number. Here we go. So here we have a question mark folder. Now this person's next problem is that their SSD is, uh, yeah, question mark folder. Well there, well there, my friend. The SSD is cool. Ouch, looks like someone's got a double issue there. That sucks. All right, let's leave some unhappy notes for this ticket. Thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you learned something.